and we back today we're trying to answer the question what would happen to the nba if you could only sign one year deals be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new let's get into it so returning off salary cap because if everybody's going to be a free agent, obviously there's not going to be a money to, enough money to go around for everybody. So we turn off salary cap, we turn off hard cap. And the way we're going to do this is I'm going to select every team, but I'm going to not control every single team, right? Then once we get to the off season of every single season, I am going to be releasing players. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck. To save time on this video, I won't be going to every single team and then releasing like the 75 and below guys because they not getting PT anyway. But once we get to like role players and stuff, those are the people that will get released. And you know what? Let's let's start off kind of guts blazing. I was gonna wait till the offseason to get the season number one going. Nope, Joel and B, Tobias Harris, Ben Simmons, Tyrese Maxey. We releasing it today. Tell us we can't release no more. Boom. That is what the top five players from the 76ers in free agency. And we doing that. Giannis? Nah, you think you're gonna be a buck for life? Not in today's video. No, well, I don't want to edit Drew. We're gonna do this. For every single team, for year number one, release until they tell us we can't release no more. See what type of super teams get built for this first season. And then do the same thing, but everybody once we get to the offseason. Today's video is brought to you by Square Enix. Marvel's Guardian of the Galaxy is a single-player, story-driven action adventure developed by Idis Montreal. It's out on PS4, PS5, Xbox consoles, PC, and Switch. And guess what? It's also on sale on all platforms right now. Now, when I send y'all off right now, it's sitting at a 94% on Steam, which is amazing. I've played it myself, and I even got it for the homies. Again, like I mentioned, it is on sale. And a lot of my homies are sports gamers. They don't really go outside the realm of sports. But I got them Marvel's Guardian of the Galaxy. I told them to give it a try. And these dudes that are used to playing basketball games have spent hours playing Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Hold on, watch this. Yo. My boy, listen, I'm telling the people that I got you Guardians of the Galaxy for Christmas. Let them know how many hours you think you got played on that game so far. Um, i say about probably around 10. 10 hours played. I'm telling y'all, this is the game for y'all. So if you're looking for a game to make you laugh, cry, and everything in between, this is the game for you. Hit that link in the description and join in on the fun. Play Marvel's Guardian of the Galaxy. Hit me back up. Let me know what you think because it's been a lot of fun for me and everybody around me. I didn't really think about how long this was going to take. And I got to do this times two <laughs> every single every single year. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> almost there. Okay. Content, baby, content. You got to do it for the content. However long it takes, you got to get it done. Now, imagine I do this and all of these players just resign to their original organizations. That would be terrible and a waste of everyone's time here. But you, you got to experiment. That's what we do these videos for. Part of it is an experimental factor. The last team, Bradley Beal, Spencer Dinwiddie, Montrez Harrell, Kyle Kuzma, Daniel Gafford. Okay, Daniel Gafford can say. Now, we simulate a week into the season. And see where players got picked up and where, where they're going to. This should be interesting. Year number one. Let's go into free agency. Let's see who's here and who's not. Oh. Okay. Um, so the top end talent, the top top end talent is still here. Oh, it's still is gone. But the rest of the okay, let's go, let's go a couple more weeks into the season because there's no reason Clay Thompson should be sitting at home if he's healthy. You know, right now, real life, he's sitting at home, but that's because he's he's coming back from his injury. How about now? Okay, you still got 80 overalls. Let's go one more, just one more week. Because if we talk talking 80 overall players, they could can, they can be helping. If I was a GM of a team, some of those players that we couldn't release, okay, these guys are like they just won't get jobs. Some of the guys that I couldn't release, like Isaiah Joe for the 76ers, I would have really, ooh, LeBron in Philly. Now, he is playing with three centers. That The only thing they did was they brought in LeBron, Valanciunas, and Bobby Portis. Actually, I feel like most teams will bring in three players and only three players. Next team, the Bucks have Dame, Julius Randle, Montrez, Harold. Then the rest is going to be the normal Bucks team. The Bulls, what? We brought in two players? We didn't even get that third player? Y'all trash. Go go side Kevin Love or something. Go do something. Jokic, Mike Conley, Evan Mobley, Russell Westbrook. Whoa. Okay, all right. We see y'all Cleveland. Cash Money, Chris D'Angelo, Russell are the two they got here. Uh, Darius Garland, Spencer Dinwiddie, and Rudy Gobert. So far, the pairings have been kind of weird. It, it, it don't seem like there's no type of logic when they went to put the teams together. Anthony Davis, Jalen Brown, and Vucevic. Cat, Jamal Murray, Steven Adams, Draymond, Kyle Lowry's back, Wendell Carter. 
Oh, that team is about to be disgustingly bad. That team is about to be really, really bad. Oh, yeah. This is this is the type of stuff we was waiting for. Steph and KD love their time together so much. They was like, let's do it again, but let's not invite Draymond this time. And they didn't. Tyler Hero is here as well. That's the squad. Now, the center position is going to be 6'7", PJ Washington or uh, Mason Plumley. But if you guys, Steph, back where it all started is sense of like, isn't he from Charlotte area? In Charlotte with KD. Utah got Bam, Miles Turner. Okay. Kyrie, JT, and Aiden. Oh, that's kind of nice. Sacramento might make the playoffs for the first time in a million years. Ja, Damar, and Clint with Miles Bridges. New York. I have to keep reminding myself that this is only for one season because once the offseason comes around, I'm getting rid of all of this. So if y'all not good enough to win a championship this year, you got to roll the dice again this offseason to try to make something better happen. Kawhi said, I like LA so much. I'm just going to go to the Lake Show. Um, Demonte Sabonis, Shea, and Jaron Jackson Jr. Interesting team, Lakers. Trey Young, Paul George, John Wall. Levine, Tobias Harris, and Anthony Edwards. I'm going to say this right now. Oh, and Tyrese Mack is here. I'm going to say this right now. Once we get to year number two, three, and however long, I won't be showing y'all every single team. I'll only show you teams that I think did some great things. Like this team, I wouldn't show you. De'Aaron Fox and TJ Warren are cool, but this team ain't done nothing to make themselves a contender. So actually, we're going to start that right now. Jimmy Bradley, Beal, Keldon Johnson, and that's it. Giannis, John Collins, Drew Holiday. Giannis and Drew Holiday said, we, we got to stick together, my guy. Um, they got a lot of power forwards here. Throw Giannis at the center or throw John Collins at the center or something. Let Scotty run the three. You got to get all three of these dudes on the court together some way. Joel Lamelo, DeJounte is back with Porzingis. I mean, you you, you throw Lamelo at the two, I guess. I'm 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 liking what I'm seeing from the Spurs team for sure. Luca Book, Ben Simmons, Jeremy Grant, Mikael is still here. Oh, now how do you do this lineup? Ben has to... Ben has... Okay, this is going to be crazy. You need to let Luca run the one, Ben run the two, um, uh, Jeremy run the three, Ben run the four, and then I, I guess you run JaVale at the five. Or if you want to get super spicy, let Ben run the five and let Mikhail get in that lineup. Because look, you got 6'8", 6'6", 6'6", 6'11", and they all go rebounders, at least decent rebounders. Y'all might be able to make that work. The Suns are dangerous. I'll just say that. James Harden is back, baby. He is back. And I just realized he's below a 90 overall nowadays, which is unfortunate. And he's here with Donovan Mitchell, CJ, and Freddie. They just got all the guards. Clay went back. He said, I, I can't turn my back on, on Golden State. And then, yeah. Okay, so you're number one. Let's go to see who wins the championship. Look at Jokic. It don't matter what organization you put bro on. He gonna go crazy. Almost averaged a triple-double. K. Cunningham was with the Heat. I don't even remember that happening. Andrew Drum is still a sixth man of the year. Giannis wins defensive player of the year. He averaged 27, 11, and 6. Um, Daniel Gaff wins most improved. Monty Williams wins coach of the year, which makes sense. I told y'all that team was going to be deadly, and they were. I don't care about all NBA teams other than the fact I think I saw Darius Garland on all NBA first team, which is, there you go. Okay, the worst team in the league. Boom, Miami Heat. I think we told y'all that the Miami Heat were going to be bad. Nope, we did. Oh, we did say this is the team that was going to be real bad. I called it. And they were not the worst team in the league because Alonzo and, and, and Will Barton, I guess? Who the heck? What did y'all do with the money? I mean, with the open roster spots we gave y'all. Y'all just lost Jokic and decided to do nothing. All right, they want to get rookies, I guess. Um, the best team in the league were tied between the Raps, who still, they had Scotty Barnes, they had Giannis, and they had John Collins. See, I'm learning these teams. Oh, and they also had Drew Holiday. I'm learning these teams for no reason. Because, um... They got to go. This team will not look anything like this next season. Why did I learn this team? When did they get Mitchell Robb? Mitchell Robb said to be late addition because I don't remember him being on that original team. Um, okay. All right. I do want to jump into some of these games because let's be honest. We're not going to see these pairings of NBA players ever again. I mean, well, sometimes people go back to videos from like 2K18 and see the foreshadowing in the video. So who knows? Maybe maybe Giannis ends up in Toronto somewhere down the line in his career. I mean, I've crazy things have happened. I specifically remember a video back in 2K. I don't remember. I, it was it was a long time ago where Kevin Durant went to the Warriors, and I remember in that video, younger me was like, man, that's unrealistic. And, and it wasn't. The man did it like a couple years later. All right, so let's see. Conference finals. I want a 1-1 matchup. I think those are 100% the best teams in the league. 
But, oh, they almost blew it. The Suns were down 3-2 in the series, and Luka put on that heavy backpack and put up a 44-point triple-double. A 1-6, though. The Spurs had DeJounte. They had LaMelo. And who? Oh, Joel Porzingis. How did y'all end up being the sixth seed? This is a squad right here. That's a squad. I mean, they're showcasing the playoffs. They was just they was chilling the whole time and decided to go crazy in the playoffs. Who's going to be in the finals for your number one? It is not a 1-1 one -one matchup. The 76ers with Braun and all the centers. Big boy ball is back. Big boy ball is back. Come on, man. The alliteration is crazy. All right, all right. I want to jump into one of these games and see LeBron and six center lineup versus Luka and all of them, but... This might be an easy series for the Suns, let's be honest. Yeah, the Suns kind of dominated this. It's a 3-0 series at the moment. Uh, please be close to game number four. I don't think it will be. LeBron just don't got enough juices, and they end up losing this one. An easy sweep for the Suns. Luka wins finals MVP. Luka, D-Book, Jeremy Grant, Ben Simmons, Mikel Bridges. Like, that was a squad, bro. Absolute squad. So, draft lottery, the Nuggets win it. They were bad. I think we talked about that. And now it is time to sit here and release everybody. And I mean, until 2K tells me I, it, we can't go any further, then we will... Wow. Um, legit, every team is going to have zero people on the, on the roster. All right, so we got, I'll be back in 40 minutes. How long is this going to take? I'm going to actually... Let's turn on the clock. I, I need a clock. Speed running it. All right, starting now. It took a total of 8 minutes, 30-something seconds to do it. Not as bad as I thought it was going to go. Um, and when I was doing this, you know what I was thinking about? Back in the day when I was a shorty, I used to play SmackDown vs. Raw. I think it was 2007. And every couple of years, you'd have to redraft your thing. If you were at a head of SmackDown, you had to redraft. And sometimes I, I wish that the NBA did something similar to that. Now, it would get rid of all the continuity and all the purpose of trading for first-round picks in 2025 and stuff like that. But I just wonder, if the NBA were to reset in real life, how would the draft go? That, that's just what I think. I mean, I guess we do something similar to that every day here in 2K, but that don't really matter. I want to hear what, like, normal, real GMs, the people that get paid to do that job, who would they select first overall? You know? That's the stuff that's on my mind right now. Okay, Philly. Philly went to the finals and decided they wanted to, to get it in. They signed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 980 plus overall players are off the board just in Philly. They got Darius Garland, Bradley Beal, Anthony Davis, Porzingis, uh, Clint Capella, Jeremy Grant is back, Norman Powell, Russell Westbrook is like the eighth man in the rotation. Uh, that's a that's a good free agency class, man. Um, Milwaukee, you know the season starts in a couple days, right? You and Tom, Tom Hollins, not Tom Holland, Spider-Man, Tom Hollins, and, and Gregory Mason, and Vontae, oh, they got Vontae Smart, so that's why they didn't sign anybody. They're doing, and they got Mamu. That's actually wild. I don't wonder how many teams are not going to have anything. DeAndre Aiden, Tyrese Halliburton, Lonzo is back. He loved it so much. And then they had the fourth overall pick, but they only signed three players. Okay. Steph Curry, Nikola Jokic, Zach Levine, Scotty Barnes, Malcolm Brogdon, Bobby Portis, and Yaka Okongwu. What a class. Steph Curry and, and the Hornets, who had Kevin Durant last season. Steph Curry liked playing with other superstars, I see. Steph Curry and Jokic, though? That's elite. Shea went back to the Clippers with Rashawn Holmes, but that's it. Jalen Brown, Ben Simmons, uh, Harrison Barnes, and then that's it. That's telling me that there's going to be multiple teams here to have everybody. The 76ers got eight people. The Cavs got a bunch of people. The Hawks signed three people, but there's three all-stars slash former all-stars, three all-star caliber players. Um, yeah. Giannis Tatum Morant. Giannis Tatum Morant. Wiggs, Miles Bridges, Terry Rozier, Drew, and then a, a, a rookie. Whoa. Okay, Hornets signed nobody. Jazz signed nobody. Kings. Kings fans, stand up. Y'all got some 80-plus overall players. Brandon Ingram, Klay Thompson, John Collins, Dante DiVincenzo, Kelly Oubre, and then Cameron Payne. You still got Chemezi Metsu. That's a W. Uh, you got Rudy Gobert, James Harden, who is dropping dramatically, which is so sad. Than him. And then you got, like, Paul George. You saw Russell Westbrook, Draymond Green. All of these dudes are dropping so fast in the game of 2K. Okay, Zion is with DeJounte Murray and Desmond Bain. Trey Young, Book, Donovan Mitchell. 
one of these dudes is coming off the bench because none of them can run the small forward. Then you got Bam, Evan Mobley, Chris Middleton, Mike Conley. T. It be teams that stack up. Why do players decide to sign the New Orleans versus um, Denver or Brooklyn or all these other places? What was so special about New Orleans? That's the question. Braun, Jared Allen, Ant-Man, DeMar DeRozan who's dropping, Jamal Murray, D'Angelo Russell. DeMar DeRozan back with the Raptors is cool. Another team that made a bunch of signings. The Rockets got Jimmy Fred Van Vliet and Kelda Johnson. Uh, LaMelo, Carl Anthony Towns. Wasn't LaMelo here last year? He was. He's one of the few players that I've seen to just re-sign to his, the organization he was with. Uh, Suns did nothing. They won a championship and was like, you know what? We okay with winning the lottery next year. But it doesn't matter because those rookies are going to get released too. Uh, Kyrie Irving, okay, okay, okay. Here's another team. There's another team. Lucas with Tobias Harris and a bunch of players. And that's it. Uh, you tell me who you think the favorite is. I'm, we about to find out. But I'm curious to what's going to happen to the teams that didn't sign anybody. Like... The Bucks. Oh, okay, so there were there were still a bunch of decent players in free agency still. So they had nobody, but they they got a bunch of like young dudes. The average age on this team is like 21, 22. Okay, so the teams that only had a couple players went out in free agency and just signed a bunch of youngins. Okay, I mean that's cool. And then look, yeah, 79 is the highest overall. So those teams are just gonna be bad. Basically, what that means is they narrowed it down to like what 20 teams in the NBA because the other teams is just gonna be so so bad. I remember back in the day before Giannis signed his super max extension with the Bucks, a lot of Heat fans had this Photoshop job done right here. And here it is in real life. And he won an MVP. Doug Joseph, you remember we made fun of him? Well, he, we didn't make fun of him, but he was the only player that was playing for the Celtics. Look at him now. He's an 81 overall. He just won rookie of the year. And next year, he's going to be on a different team, more likely than not. Lonzo is the sixth man. Giannis is player of the year. DeAndre Aiden wins most improved. Look at the Bulls. Look at the, the Heat and the Bulls. Are they the top teams in the, in the league? I don't know, Billy. Oh, the Bulls. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. The Chicago Bulls are here. Oh, snap. Okay. All right. This is not a drill. When did, when did the Aaron Fox get on? Was it was the Aaron Fox always on that team? Am I bugging? I don't know if the Aaron Fox was there originally. They even got John Isaac. The Bulls are disgusting. Let's go. The Bulls are back. Here they is right here. De'Aaron, Tyrese, Cam Reddish, John Isaac. And then DeAndre Aiden with LaMelo coming off the, uh, La, not LaMelo, Lonzo coming off the bench. And then Mitchell Robinson and Marvin Bagley. This team won 73 games while still being extra young. The, the, vet, in the, the vet in the lineup is De'Aaron and Zoe. Y'all remember back in the day, uh, the world thought that De'Aaron and Zoe had this little beef, this little rivalry. Uh, because they were in the same class and they were both point guards and then... Alonzo got injured before a game and they were supposed to play against each other and yada 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 well now they're teammates what the heck shout out to the almighty bulls you love to see it you know who i'm rooting for this playoff run okay so nobody's even really close to the bulls they ended the season on a 25 game win streak 25 game win streak in the conference when they when they go on against the bucks and they go on against the Cavs and the pistons and stuff they lost one total uh, not the conference but the division they lost one total game in the division crazy point differential 16 the worst team is the Brooklyn Nets now we saw why because they had nobody Watch the Wizards also didn't sign anybody but they did have Composo starting he only averaged four assists which seems very unrealistic because he could basically average four assists off the bench in real life so the fact that he's the starter and he didn't get many assists it's crazy I mean maybe he just didn't have nobody to pass it to this team sucks uh in the Easter on the Western Conference you got the Pals as the best team, but the Grizzlies was on a low run. This is type. This is the type of momentum you want going into the playoffs. The Grizzlies 11 game streak. Ben Simmons, Jalen Brown, Aaron Gordon, Harrison Barnes, and then Daniel Gafford. Just a bunch of very good, solid players. But this team, I don't know how this team doesn't win the championship. Now I know, I know, I'm rooting for the Bulls and everything. Trey Young, Book, Middleton, Mobley, Bam, Mitchell off the bench. Mike Conley off the bench. And then after, okay. After you get to the seventh man, the bench is the bench is bad. But the first seven, there's no better first seven in the entire league than that. I mean, actually, uh, uh, you you can debate it. We, we shall find out. Actually, there's no reason to debate it. We gonna find out which team is the best. I love videos like this where it's just a bunch of randomness, a bunch of weirdness. The Bulls almost didn't make it out that first round. That was a bit scary for me. That was a bit scary for me, guys. Let's not do that again. Let's not do that again. All right, let's go to the second. Let's go to the conference final. There you go, Bulls. There you go. Oh, snap. The Pelicans were up 3-0 or 3-1 in the 
and got got dominated by Lamelo, Carthony Towns, Christian Wood, W. Montgomery, and his eight minutes was the X factor in a game seven. He played eight minutes, thirteen points, three rebounds, an assist, a steal. He's a seventy-five overall rookie. Rookie out of Willie Jessup University. I've never even Willie Willie. I've never even heard of that. And he was just the X factor to take out the one seed. So we got a one two and a three four. The Bulls are in the finals to go against the Spurs. It is oh I forgot Lonzo comes off the bench, but we will see the Ball brothers guarding each other. I mean this should be a very very good series. Please give me something to jump into. The Bulls are down by three with about three minutes to go. And I'm here for this. Just listen to my play-by-play. -play, um, and I will count down the clock and, and get you to score. Don't worry about it, bro. I got us. I got us. I does this, okay? Uh, DeAndre Jordan inbounds the ball to Carthony Towns. They're running a th four power forward slash center lineup plus LaMelo ball. They're going big ball. And that's that's a ball right there with a dunk. Making a five-point game with two and a half minutes to go. All right, here we go. Now they got a, a relatively normal lineup out there now. Good pass from uh, the other ball, brother. They're guarding each other. Missed the number two. And, and what what they got Zoe rocking nowadays? Is that a nine? Is that an eight? I can't even tell you what they got on this chest. Is that a four? That's an eight. Okay, he's running up eight. Okay, here we go. OG Ananobi with the ball. Going against Cam Reddish. I don't know what he's doing. Post up. Okay. Ball versus ball. Ball versus ball. LeVar somewhere clapping in the stands. Look at the ball, brother. Clip up the other ball. That's great defense, Lonzo. That's why you're your first team all defense in my book. I don't I don't have a vote, but your first team all defense in my book. Tyrese Halliburton downhill. And this is my reminder to y'all that I have a series with the Sacramento Kings. We're in the playoffs right now. Tyrese Halliburton is on that team. Tyrese Halliburton is on that team. And if you want to see more 2K gameplay and stuff of me actually playing, the link is in the description. And the channel name is Kenny2, as in T-O-O. -O. Google it. Do something. All right. That's a foul. That's okay. That's a good foul. Three fouls in the fourth quarter. Get this stop right here, Chicago. Come on. I should be unbiased in a video like this, but come on. It's the Bulls. I can't help it. I'm even rocking a Chicago Huntsman joint right now. I'm, I'm a Chicago fan, baby. Even in sports that I don't even watch. If it says Chicago, I'm repping it. There it is. That's a miss. Let's go. Let's go, Bulls. It's a whiteout in Chicago. Cam Reddish brings the ball to the court. Gives it up to the ball, brother. He's guarded by Tyler Hero. Cook sesh. Oh, down low. OG Ananobi, DeAndre Aiden. Go, he goes right up. And that's the lead for the Chicago Bulls. First lead of the day. I, uh, well, I, mm, mm, probably not. But you understand. I like that they got Melo's um, signature uh, shoe in the game right now. That's kind of dope. LaMelo just, that's a bucket. That is an absolute bucket. He's got 32 points in his 38 minutes. I'm surprised De'Aaron Fox is not in the game, but maybe he's struggling. Bam is not in the game. Isn't Bam on his team? I don't know. Oh, but DeAndre Aiden is. There it is. DeAndre Aiden with another bucket. Easy. Why, why, actually, if I don't think they got banned, but if they did, why bring him in the game if DeAndre Aiden is playing like this? Y'all see me in the crowd? I was right there. Because the Bulls are in the NBA Finals. Best believe I'm going to every single game. I don't care how much it hurts my pockets. I'm going to every single home game. I'm not flying across the country. But I will go to every single home game. Lonzo is real life clamping up. LaMelo can't do nothing. He can't do nothing. He's got to force it down to Christian Wood. Good defense, Bulls. Score right here in this game. Oh, they're doing the foul game because it was a two-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Now, Lonzo makes both of these free throws. It's still a one-possession game. Anybody can win. Here he is. Potentially the last possession of the game. LaMelo getting clamped up by Big Bro. Can't let him have his moment. They're going for the two. They're going for the two. DeAndre Aiden. Whoa! I thought he played great defense. It is now a one-point game with about 12 seconds to go. The Bulls got to get it in and make some free throws. All right, get it into a good free throw shooter. Oh, uh, we got a bunch of them. I, I wouldn't call Lonzo Ball one of them, though. I mean, I, I, I guess we're about to see. Game on the line, NBA Finals. Can he go two for two? He missed the first one. Maybe I underestimated Zo. He goes with the second when he hits it. They got no timeouts. They got 11 seconds to make something happen. I, 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 that, that's your backup point guard? That's your backup point guard? I'm sorry to stop the floor of the, of floor of the game. Man played zero seconds the whole season. And now he's in with the ball in his hands in the most important moment of the game. Passes it back. I was going to say, if you the one taking a the shot, they bugging. And it's, that was, that was anticlimactic, let's be honest. The ball should have probably been in Tyler Hero's hands. He was the only shot creator left since LaMelo fouled out. 
And just like that, the Bulls win a game. Game two, they up 2-0 in the series. Tyrese and DeAndre Aiden dominated. Lonzo played great. Only one turnover from the starting point guard. Oh, the backup point guard because the starting point guard had three turnovers. What is he doing? And yeah, I think they're going to win the rest of the series. I think they might even sweep the series because, well, 2-0. Oh. Oh. 3-2. Game seven. Yes. Okay. Listen, I thought this was about to be easy peasy. No, the Spurs got hurt. I don't know if it's, it's not really showing up in game seven, though. It didn't, the heart didn't show up in game seven, fellas. And just like that De'Aaron Fox, who wasn't even on the court for the game that we saw, um, ends up winning finals MVP. I was talking about the heart. They, they ran out. <laughs> they ran out of heart. And we're going one more year. But that means this Bulls team that looks so great, we got to dismantle it. And all the other 29... I'll be back in 8 minutes and 33 seconds. Okay, so this team is um, winning the championship. Kevin Durant, Joel Embiid, LaMelo Ball, Kawhi Leonard, Evan Mobley, Cole Anthony, Clint Capella, Charles Bassey. That's winning the championship. Luka's with the Bucks with nobody else other than Jeremy Grant. But I would just assume that there's still a bunch of players in free agency just like last time. So their team will look different. The Bulls didn't do anything. They got the championship and bounced. Steph Curry's in Cleveland where it started. I think we said that about Charlotte, but he legitimately was born in the in, in the Akron area, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Josh Giddy and, and Mo Bamba. DeJounte Murray booking Jokic with John Collins, Jalen Brown, Paul George, and Thomas Bryant. I, I miss watching Thomas Bryant play, man. When is he supposed to come back? So the Hawks got a whip. Shea is with Giannis, but that's pretty much it. Giannis decided to come back. No team looks like they're beating that 76er roster. That's all I'm saying. Mitchell, Gobert, Levine, uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., Brandon Ingram, and Dame Lillard. That's a solid squad. But again, Dame is dropping because he's 33 years old. Anthony Davis, De'Aaron Fox, Klay Thompson, Jamal Murray. J okay, another good team. I don't know, man. The 76ers spoiled us just now because that team looks so amazing that I don't even know if... Okay, I do know that there's a team that might be able to do it. It's the Indiana Pacers. Zion, LeBron, Kyrie, Jared Allen, Anthony Edwards. And the reason why this is even better is that these all fit together in a sense of like, you run the point guard, Kyrie, you got shooting guard, Anthony Edwards, you can run LeBron at the three, Zion at the four. So it's not like, oh, one of our best players has to come off the bench. They're starting five as elite. Now the rest of the team, not so much. Like for real, they don't even have a roster spot to bring other people in. So that's the little scary part about them. Tatum, Butler, Cat. Beal. Oh, wait, wait. Tatum, Butler, Cat, Beal, uh, Colin Sexton, Julius Randle, Keldon Johnson, James Wiseman, Christian Wood, Clay Solomon. The Spurs have continued to stay relevant throughout this video. They keep signing people. People want to play under pop, I guess. And it looks like that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. So we have the Pacers, the Spurs, and the 76ers as my three candidates to potentially win this championship. Jokic's just doing Jokic-type things. Zach Levine is sixth man in New York. Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year, man, you quickly and coach of the year went to Rick Carlisle. But nobody looked like they came close to that Bulls record from last year. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. All right, let's go around the league real quick and let's see the teams that we thought were going to be great. The two of them are up here and then the other one's up here. Okay, I guess it's not hard to predict one team that has six all-stars to be good, but we did it. And then the worst team is the Wizards and the Suns. Shout out to the Suns. They did what they could, but they got multiple people with the same dribble animation. So probably not going to be great. Um, but the number one team was the Spurs team. They got the line right starting at the one instead of letting Colin Sexton do it. But I I mean, whatever you got to whatever you got to do, my boy. If that's working out, I mean, they got them the number one seed and the re best record in the league. So I can't say that you're wrong. Uh, Kyrie, LeBron, J oh my God, I forgot how nasty this team was just that fast. Okay. All right. Well, I, I just want to see what team wins the East because you got the one and the two here. And I'm just going to assume the Spurs are going to win the West. But you, you, you know what I'm saying? Worst things have happened. Crazy things have happened. So let's see if that's actually true. I feel like by far they're the best team in the conference though. Okay. Everybody made it to the second round. And it looks like they all made it to the conference finals. This series is about to be ridiculous. You got LaMelo versus Kyrie. Jalen Green, who I don't even know if he was there at first. Jalen Green versus Ant-Man. KD versus Braun. Evan Mobley versus Zion. Joel versus Jared Allen. This is a seven. If this don't go seven, I don't know what will. Okay, I thought this was going seven, but it is 2-0. Is it going to be 3-0? Philly! Philly, you made the most 
anticipated series. They even got Kawhi. Was Kawhi there? I don't even know if Kawhi was Kawhi was coming off the bench. And y'all lost? Not even just lost. I'm, I'm losing is fine in this scenario. But getting swept is ridiculous. And yeah, two of the teams that we thought were gonna be there are there. Long right, you gotta hold it down versus Kyrie. Let's see if you can. Game one, Pacers, Spurs, Pacers, 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 and LeBron wins another finals MVP. That was fun, man. That was extremely fun. Hey, man, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.